There really is no book that said, hey, here's how an offshore powerboat team is put together. The unique thing about this is everybody's got a different job. And we, our theory is, is make it like a family. In the unlimited class, you cannot be successful without a great crew. You have to get the best, smartest people in the boating performance world because at the speeds we reach, in excess of 170, 180 miles an hour, everything's got to be right. These guys have been down here for a week here now, which are not the best facilities. What we used to back at the workshop with dynos and uh, a clean workshop and we're down here basically in a, in a dusty field trying to do some quite technical work which is challenging within itself. These guys don't quit. That's what makes this team so strong is they don't quit. You know, they find a way and you know, they're laughing. You know, they've, they've been working all night long for weeks on end all, since we got to Key West. These guys have been working till two, three, four in the morning for many weeks now. I don't think there's been a day where we've left the pits before midnight. We've got teams that'll stay up all night to try to get the engines just right for a race. We always want to be there, we always want to be winners, and these guys are all staunch competitors and want to make it happen. Nobody on the Miskaiko racing team works for a paycheck. Everybody gets a paycheck, but that's not their number one priority in life. Their number one priority in life is to make the Miskaiko race boat the fastest, best, most winningest race boat in the entire world, and then a paycheck just comes along with that. They put uh, Miss Geico in front of everything, their family lives, everything. They're all in hot water by now because it's been a tough two weeks. Having a great team that puts all of their efforts into getting a boat together so you can win and essentially take the glory, that's the best. <laughs>